<laughs> Sucks to be you. Tap joy on iOS sucks completely. Let's try some tap joy on the Android server just to see how much it sucks to be on the iOS. What? No tap joy? Well, thank you, Castle Clash, for destroying our lives. What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Angry the Game, and I'm here to discuss the situation as it is with the new tap joy that has now disappeared over on Android. Now we are just as good or just as suck as uh, what you might call it. What do you call it? Iris. Well, Castle Clash announcement, dear Clashers. Now this is not such a bad thing, and let me tell you guys why this is not such a, such a bad thing. Because when I heard about this, I already had this idea in my mind. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna scream at Castle Clash and IGG, you suck, and all those types of things. And then I sat down and I read this announcement by Castle Clash, and I realized it's not as bad as it seems. Dear Clashes, as follows. Thank you for your support. No, that's completely incorrect. Not for your support. Thank you for... Why does it always seem that I get a phone call every single time I start recording? So that's a good phone call this time. It's not the previous one I got in the previous video. It was a bad, bad, bad phone call. But in any case, let's look at what is exactly happening here, which I think is actually a good thing. Um, bad and good. Dear Clashes, thank you for supporting Castle Clash. We have received feedback from players that game awarding tasks in the free gym page are cumbersome, confusing, and don't provide any enjoyable experience. Well, that is true. I can vouch for that. Hence, we will be closing the free gems feature on 12, 12 a.m. Um, August 1st, 2021, GMT time 5. Players will not be able to obtain gems through tap through this channel during its closure. But don't worry, we will make sure you don't lose out on the benefits. Rewards originally attainable via the free gems feature will be available during certain game events. Uh, do participate in the res uh, respected events to get the rewards. At the moment, you can get the rewards from these three events egg hatchathon spend gems and win and change talents and win we will continue to in, uh, enhance castle clash in-game events making them more rewarding and enjoyable we thank all clashes for their passion and support let's keep clashing for many years to come i doubt the many years to come part but so <sighs> As I'm reading this, I get the feeling that they're going to make, well, they're saying what could be obtained from free gems, which is gems in general, can now be obtained in those events. Now, I, I highly doubt that because this is everything that is obtainable with the free gems, with tap joint. You can get all of this. But they don't give this out in any of those events. Might some. You don't get hero crystals in those events. That is for sure. You don't get arch demon cards in those events. You do not get... Uh, yeah, probably the hero card official event. But that's... Whatever. You're not going to get gems in those events. That is for 100% sure. You're definitely not going to get victory horn. You won't get the new golem. You won't get the golem skin. Uh, you're not going to get... Blood Barrier Insignia. You're not going to get these Adeptness books. You're not going to get the Magic Powders. Um, so many things that is just not obtainable through any of the events mentioned by Castle Clash. But the feeling that I'm getting is that once it has closed down, that they will then make it available. Because Egg Hatchathon, let's face it, it sucks. Spend gems and win. You need to spend 60,000 gems to get all of the rewards. Now, 60,000 gems. That is incomprehensible when it comes to free-to-play. Uh, when doing tap joy, 
let's just go into tap joy let me show you how stupid it is what igg is saying okay if i do mafia city i get forty thousand gems but i'm not going to get every gem at once it's going to be over a brief period of time but let's say i finish the game and i play games with 10 ladies 19,320 uh, gems that will be arriving into my account now when you get that you're also going to get the bonus gems i believe i can't remember i haven't done it in a while but let's say you get the 19,000, but you do get the bonus the 95 percent bonus um i think so i can't remember but let's say it's only the 19,000. that is full accumulation Wait, hang on. okay never mind that's full accumulation now that gets you all of every single one of these rewards plus every single one of these rewards you're not going to get that in spend gems and win spend gems and win hardly comes around all right egg hatchathon just absolutely is and suck um just suck so much event so I, I, I don't know. I sincerely hope that IGG will go, okay, um, we have now destroyed many players on Android, but screw them because iOS has to go, go through the same thing. But nevertheless, we destroyed their lives. Let's make these events or these rewards obtainable through, through certain game modes. Will you give us... <laughs> Dude, come on. In certain um, accumulations... You can get Zephyrica there, a straight up Zephy card. Um, what IGG will do is they'll make it available in, let's say, random stupid events that they can come up with. But let's say, for instance, Pirate's Booty. Yeah, it's right there. The chance of getting that bag is zero to none. And then even if you do get the bag and you open it, you only get one freaking soul stone per bag. You have to be extremely lucky to get anything higher than five, which it does one through 30. So I don't know. IGG taking away tap joy. I know it's going to mess up a lot of players because the other thing what needs to be thought of here, IGG, is that every time you do tap joy, it goes towards gems purchased. And as this go up, you can get spirit mage, you can get minotaur yes as a as a free-to-play player doing tap joy you are able to obtain a minotaur which is for any account starting out that is one of the dream heroes to have is a minnow and then you also get destroyer so does that mean you're gonna make spirit mage minotaur and destroyer available for free to play is that what you're saying because that is what is obtainable through free gems now, I doubt that you're going to do that and you're just going to be who you are and just take that away and cause more and more people to fall away from the game as you have over the years. So I just want to read this part again. Hence, we will be closing the free gems feature on August 1st. Players will not be able to obtain gems through this channel during its closure. But don't worry, we'll make sure you don't lose out on the benefits. Not some not all, not many, not a part of, just benefit. So that's everything. Rewards originally obtainable via the free gems feature. Rewards originally obtainable. Originally means anything that you can now get by doing tab joy. That's all of it. That's everything that I mentioned. Zephy, Lava, all those brilliant freaking crystal, hero crystals, Minotaur, spirit mage D D everybody demo gorgon everything is in there originally obtainable via the free gems feature will be available during certain in-game events will be not might be or we'll think about making it it will be available so i'd like to see that because i highly doubt like i mean i highly doubt that they're going to make Minnow, Spirit Mage, Zephyrica and Hero Crystals available in some of these events. Um, current events is now Egg Hatchathon. You can't get anything in Egg Hatchathon. Egg Hatchathon is one of the worst events out there. It's a waste of coins. Spend gems and win. You get a chest. You get 10 chests. 
one freaking skin scrap and for 60,000 gems spent and then change talents and win. You have to spend your gems to change the talents to get that absolute suck of a reward that they do offer. And then the other biggest thing, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that they're not going to give you in any of these events, rewards normally obtainable. Let me just point this out again. Jars of gems. They will not give you jars of gems. And even if they do, it's going to be one or five at the most. Currently, you have a chance at getting jars of gems through Floating Isle which doesn't quite often drop and when it does you have to spend a full amount to get your mailbox filled up which is 60 and then you'll get 10 jars of gems 15 20 25 at the most well in tap joy you get the actual gem count like i've just shown you here let's just go back in and, and then also there's days of double gem drops, eh? So the 40,000 might be uh, 81,000. Then, okay, so 19,000, 4,000, 5,000, 24,000, 1,000, 3,000, 7,000. Just an example. Look at that, 15,000 down there. There is so many gems available for doing all of these things. You want to tell me that IGG is going to offer you that many gems to play certain game modes? Highly doubt that. So, with that being said, this is IGG's new plan. Let's see what happens in four days when it resets and tap join is gone. But not only that, the most important thing, will you make it available for iOS as well? Because I find the bridge between iOS and Android to be way too rocky and dangerous and treacherous and do not go there. It is that you'll lose your life. Because it is not similar at all. It sucks. It's completely different. So um, once you do that for Android, will you do it for iOS? Just a question. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to always leave a like, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. And I hope we can get this video to reach IGG and realize the stupidity that they are busy with and that we can make a difference in the game. Thank you and goodbye.